there's a sandwich in New Orleans, and there'd really be only one, and that's the po' boy. But if you come to New Orleans and don't get a po' boy, well, you might not as well come. So the New Orleans po' boy started during hard times, okay? 1929, the height of the Great Depression. Benny and Clovis Martin, they were uh, former streetcar conductors. And they had worked their way up in the business and opened a, a grocery store in the French market, Martin Brothers Coffee Stand. The streetcar workers, they weren't getting paid, so they striked. The word got out to Benny and Clovis Martin, and they said, show your badge and we'll feed you. We'll feed our poor boys. Over time, different kinds of po'boys became a reality. Where it first started with a beef debris, it would soon include fried oysters and shrimp and sometimes be referred to as a peacemaker. Along the way, Parkway Bakery and Tavern became a mainstay in po' boy history. And under its third ownership, it is still a favorite in the city. Parkway's been around since 1911. They weren't supermarkets, they weren't big grocery stores, they weren't Walmarts. There was corner groceries, there was corner bakeries. And Parkway Bakery was the bakery for the neighborhood. Right here in the bar, this was where your lunch counter was, where the guys made the sandwiches. And back when this place was open in the turn of the century, they were 10 cents. The guys that used to run the place was more like a, you know, what do you want? And next, you know, they knew their business and the racetracks right up the way. So did a little booking out the place as well. As much as people mention the variations and amount of toppings you can put on a po' boy, one fact remains true, and that there is one ideal form of bread. The most important part is the bread. French Leidenheimer style bread. It's different from your Italian bread. It's different from your hoagie roll. It's unique to New Orleans. At Lily's Cafe, we use French bread. We use Leidenheimer because it's old, it's true, it's crisp. But when you cut it, the inside's soft like cotton candy. It's not dense. You're really focusing on what's inside that bread. Next day, not really worth a whole lot, but day of baked Leidenheimer bread is absolutely fantastic. This is very similar to the French bread that the French brought into Vietnam in 1858. What few people in New Orleans realize, though, is that many Vietnamese were trained in classical French baking. Starting in 1975, New Orleans saw an influx of Vietnamese refugees and would go on to become some of the best bakers New Orleans had to offer. Enter Dong Phong Bakery, a 30-year-old family-owned establishment that specializes in French technique and something else the Vietnamese had to offer, the banh mi. So when you go to Dong Fong, they have a storefront, and they have all their pastries, they all have all their jelly donuts, but then they have the little sandwich shop. I mean, it's just set up how Parkway was probably 50 years ago. For the last five years, I think a lot of Vietnamese restaurants popping up. One food that they, they have to have is Vietnamese po' boi banh mi. You will cut the banh mi in half, you will spread it with the French butter, with pate, one line of soy sauce, one line of sriracha, cucumber, jalapeno, and cilantro. <laughs> there it is, that's your po' boy. The locals of New Orleans adopted the banh mi as a close relative to the po' boy. This bond through food helped establish the Vietnamese community and they would eventually open restaurants of their own. Trinh Phong is the owner of Lily's Cafe and has been open for business for five years. It's funny, when we live in Vietnam, we live in a second storage home. So sometimes we're lazy at night time and if we don't go out to eat. This person who's selling banh mi in a big basket, from the second floor we were just like, hi, give us some banh mi. We put the strings down and then they would tie the banh mi up and then we roll it up. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, but me for the night. Part of the restaurant, we have this restaurant, I think going back to my father, he was a French chef, the best of the best. His taste is just phenomenal, and I think I got that from my father. Food is, is you know, it's, it's, it's something you need to survive, but a po' boy is culture you can eat. Dig? This is a tale of Croatian immigrants, an Italian family, and one city's undying love for oysters. 